Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. Time to go over the weekly reset, all the new activities to do within Destiny. Sorry, I missed last week, so obviously too much to do with the Destiny 2 beta. And I'm going to keep doing these all the way up until Destiny 2 comes out. Because, uh, you know what? I'm, a, I'm still going to be playing this game up until Destiny 2 comes out. And some uh, some of you guys out there will too. Alright, Vault of Glass is the challenge this week for the raid. And believe it or not, I think this is the last week you can get this done for your Age of Triumph book to get the t-shirt. So, uh, you might want to get this done this week if you haven't. Alright, Challenge of Elders, we have Chaff, Melee Kill Bonus, Legendary Engram, and 10 Legendary Marks for your first three runs. The weekly Nightfall this week, it is a fun one because you have Void Burn and Small Arms. It is the Archon Priest, Winter's Run. So, Small Arms and Void Burn, go in there where you steal Medulla, the Wrath of the Machine Adept Exotic with Void Burn. Uh, you're just going to wreck shop. Also, if you're a Warlock, go in there with Nothing Manacles, Scatter Grenades, you're going to have a good time. Berserk, Minions of the Darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. Fresh troops, some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. We have Daybreak, so this is like Mayhem Clash, but for Nightfall Strikes. So you super, your grenade, and your melee are going to charge really, really fast. Alright, for the weekly Siva Crisis, you get a Treasure of Ages for your first one, 10 marks for your first three runs, and I see Specialist again. Bungie, enough! Get rid of Specialist for year one already. But you have Solar Burn, so we got Hero Heroic, Enemies Imperial, Greater Numbers, and a more aggressive. Solar, Specialist, and you've got Chaff. So, well, Chaff is when your radar is disabled. Well, I'll be going out with my Vision and Confluence, but I hate Specialist. I'm sick of it. Every week they drop that. All right, what about the weekly story? You get a Treasure of Ages for your first run and then 20 marks for your first five runs. We have Arc Burn on this one, and this one is Dark Champions. So we have Heroic, we know what that is. Arc Burn, and we have Airborne, players doing more damage in the air. So I'll be jumping around with my Fate Bringer. Let's look at the Crucible, and what do we got here? Mayhem Clash is back this week. All right, I'm going to be playing some of that because I want to get some Crucible packages. Why? Because I am still, well, I just want to play Crucible in general because I want an Aya Saluna at least before Destiny 2, Destiny 2 comes out. Because, I, I mean, I have my God Roll Lord High Fixer. I want an Aya Saluna. Uh, Mayhem Clash, you can get lots of packages. And also, if you complete the uh, weekly Shax bounties for Rift and for Clash, I believe those packages can drop an Aya Saluna. Or at least according to you guys, when I've asked in the comment section, I can't get one for the life of day of me. All right, so we have Clash, we have Rift, we've got Elimination, Skirmish is back, thank God it's not Salvage, I'll be playing that this week, and we got Rumble Supremacy. Alright, let's check out Tyra's Artifacts real quick, and then we'll go check out some of the weapon vendor rerolls, rerolls, the vendor refresh on all the weapons if there's anything that you might want to buy. Alright, checking in with Tyra, first off, she got the Memory of Tema, this one's an 88% stat roll, melee attacks on minor minions of the darkness have a chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies, Memory of Radagast, I only use this during Wrath of the Machine to give me extra sword ammo, that's one of the perks. This one is a 84% stat roll, and elected strength to gain the ability to reflect energy-based projectiles when guarding with a sword, but you get increased sword ammo. So, Mermaid Gellion, my favorite thing and only thing I use in PvP, but she's got a uh, poor roll. 79%. This one's an intellect, and what else is it? Intellect and discipline. Alright, and this one, we have uh, grants a detailed radar. Radar persists when siding with primary weapons. Alright, let's run to the tower. Alright, let's check in with all the vendors here, and uh, thanks to Uncanny Deadpool, one of my followers, and also a sponsor of my YouTube channel. Sponsors like having a uh, sub button on Twitch. And I got another wounded. This is my main one right here, my oversized fate bringer. It's got Firefly, Outlaw, Full Auto, and the Clean MD Reflex Sight. What'd you give me here? We got, ooh, we got Third Eye, Hidden Hand, Small Bore, Snapshot, Third Eye, da 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 da. Alright, we don't care about that. Alright, let's take a look. Um, let's see, let's check the Warpath. He's saying that's really good. Ooh, we got Grenades and Horseshoes. Arc burn. Aggressive launch, soft launch, hard launch, all right? So you can increase your velocity, take a little hit on blast radius, but this thing's got a big blast radius as is. Field scout, increase ammo capacity, tripod and grenades and horses. All right, this is an awesome PVP grenade launcher. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm going to buy this, I think, later this week because I have a Tamarind, but I don't know. That thing just doesn't seem to want to kill people compared to my trials, uh, tomorrow's answer. So I would definitely, definitely grab this. All right, let's look at the wounded here. That's my usually my favorite. We got oh, we got hidden hand, and we got uh, let's right, let's start here, Shawnee. Explosive rounds. We have quick draw. We have small bore, outlaw, and hidden hand. I would say this would be not bad for PvP. I mean, I use my wounded in PvP sometimes, and it's a lot of fun. Got the red dot ultra A2 ranged lens. And we got the OEG Rifle Scope. So not exactly crazy about the sights, but perks aren't bad either. All right, the only thing that's worth looking here is the uh, Keystone. Now this is, ooh, what do we got? Ooh, wow, Crowd Control, 
Outlaw and Full Auto, or you can go with Explosive Rounds or Hammer Forge. Competition for the uh, for Future War Cult this week? It's a pretty good scout rifle right there. Red Dot ORA2, we got the Range Lens, and we got the OEG Rifle Scope. All right, not a, if, if you're a Dead Orbit fan, I don't know if I'm uh, that much of a fan of this. Uh, well, it, it's a good scout rifle, but I don't think I'm going to pledge allegiance to Dead Orbit just to buy that thing. I already have my wounded, but if you need a good scout rifle, go grab that thing. All right, let's check out with the Vanguard. Now, first thing I always check is the Parthian shot for you guys, because everyone loves this thing except for me. I'm terrible with these types of rate of fire and impact. High, uh, I mean, low rate of fire, high impact scout rifle. So we have Outlaw, we have Take a Knee, we have Small Bore, a Lightweight, and we have Range Finder. We have the Red Dot RA2, Quick Draw IS, or the OEG Rifle Scope. I don't know. You guys let me know about your Parthian shot. What's your favorite role in this thing? I am just, I can't use pulse rifles anymore. Well, in Destiny 2, I can. I like pulse rifles. I like the uh, Nightshade and the Nurgle. All right, Occam's Razor. Let's see, where's Occam's Razor? I don't even know half the names of these things. I never used the, the Vanguard stuff. All right, we have this. Uh, we have Smart Drift Control, CQB Ballistics. Uh, you want to go to Aggressive Ballistics. Replenish, Army of One, Rifle Barrel, Perfect Balance, and Full Auto. Right, so Full Auto with Rifle Barrel and Aggressive Ballistics. Pretty damn good for PvP. All right, well, let's take a look at the Continental. This will be decent for PvP. What do we have? We have Battle Runner and Hip Fire. Well, Battle Runner's not bad. Hip Fire, that's a waste for auto rifles. Braced Frame, you can get near max stability. And you don't take a hit in the range. Or you can go at Rifle Barrel, maximize your range. Uh, range does come into play when it comes to auto rifles, in my opinion. And we have Persistence. That reminds me of my old first Shadow Prize from year one. We're going to go through some serious nostalgia soon as we part ways with Destiny 1. All right, Reflex, Steady Hand IS, and the OEG Rifle Scope. All right, let's go check out the Crucible. All righty, first up for bounties, and I was just here already. He does have the Hand Cannon Bounty, so I just grabbed that, trying to get myself an IS Luna. But uh, let's take a look at this Event Horizon. This is like a must-buy for PvE. First off, it's Void. I'm definitely buying this week. I don't have a good Void Sniper, and I don't like the Wrath of the Machine Sniper. It's annoying to me. I hate the scope. But this one's got Short Gaze and Ambush. You got Triple Tap. I love you. Or Spray and Play. You got Armor Piercing Rounds, Perfect Balance, or Firefly. Yeah, I'm going to come back and buy this uh, this week, I think. Now, the Zero Day Dilemma, this one's got Focus Fire. So you can kind of make this uh, a la Asuras Regime, kind of. But this one's got Counterbalance and Small Bore on it. Armor Piercing Rounds, Close and a Personal. So if you're looking for, or if you're good with Auto Rifles and PvP, not a bad roll. Because you got the Reflex, Nice Clean Sight, Focus Fire, Small Bore. Counterbalance, Quick Draw IS, and the OEG Rifle Scope. Now, the Hero Formula, this one's not bad for PvP, I would say. You got the clean MD Reflex Sight, got a hit in hand, a little bit more aim assist, got hand laid stock, take a hit on the range here, but this thing's got pretty good range as is for a scout rifle. You could go with High Caliber Rounds, Last Resort, or Eye of the Storm. Not a bad roll, I would just want something different here. Uh, we got the MD Reflex, Range Lens, and the OEG Rifle Scope. Now, the B29 Party Favor, this is a pretty good roll for PvP if you're good with pulse rifles. I personally am not, but hey, Pretty good with the Nightshade and the Nurgle in the Destiny 2 beta. But this one's got Counterbalance. We have Small Bore, Feather Mag. But here you have an Owl or Feeding Frenzy. So either way, you're going to get a quick reload when you get a kill with this thing. And it's got the clean MD Reflex Sight. Well, let's check out each new day this Fusion Rifle. This one's not bad. You got Hot Swap. That helps with Fusion Rifles. When you swap to it, you get a brief period of bonus accuracy. Brace Frame. And you've got Hip Fire on this thing. Brace Frame. Enhanced Battery. Underdog. Hip Fire. Got the Reflex, you got the Red Dot ORA, and the OEG. Uh, everyone was saying that the um, Fusion Rifles in Destiny 2, or the main one that I was killing everyone with, the, the Power Web, Power Ammo Fusion, everyone was saying that it's no different than the Fusions in PvP for Destiny 1. I beg to differ, alright? I think that was way better than any of the Fusion Rifles. But then again, I've got a pretty good roll on a Saladin's Vigil here, which, uh, I don't know. I don't I, look. I didn't have as much luck with this thing in Destiny One than I did with that uh, Vanguard uh, fusion rifle from the Destiny Two beta. But that's my baby right there. All right. So right now I'm looking at Destiny Item Manager here to see what armor pieces you might want to buy. And I'm only going to read off anything that's 99 or 100% stat roll. Uh, Vanguard is nothing. Let's see. Uh, Varix has a Titan Towel <laughs> Sash, Intellected Strength. That's 100% stat roll. Future War Cult, nothing. Everything is 96%. Dead Orbit. Everything is below 95%. New Monarchy has, ooh, a, a, let's see, Titan Towel. Discipline and Strength, 100% stat roll. No Ghost Shells. Crucible, what do you got there? Everything is below 94%. 
Let's see. And lastly, let's look at the speaker. What a, what's the speaker got for me? Uh, 98% stat roll, intellect discipline, hunter cloak, and nothing over 99 or 100%. Yeah, so not a good week to buy armor or anything, but for weapons, everything's good. So anyway, that's it, guys. Sorry I missed last week's, and that's it. I'm going to probably stay up for a little bit and then go back to sleep and then wait for the IGN reveal at uh, what, 12 noon? Is it, no, no, it's 1 p.m. Eastern. 9 to 10, 10, 11, 11, 12. No, it's 12 noon. We're going to get another reveal from IGN. And this should be a new PvP game mode. It should be very, very interesting. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Z Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. That's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. <laughs>